Okay, so you guys are wondering how I paint my armor pieces, so I'm going to do a quick rundown on how I do it. Here you can see my paint booth set up. I don't have them anywhere else to do it, so I do it on the front porch with uh, a trash bag taped to the ground and cardboard uh, framework to help keep the wind away and keep paint from flying off. Here I have some pieces that I just finished uh, doing the final layer for these anyway, these are going to be the wrist guards. I just finished doing the final layer of uh, plastic dip on them, it's still a little tacky. Uh, I believe on these I did three or four layers, just until your uh, pen marks and such for your detailing are no longer visible, that's a good way to judge it. These, they've only had one layer and you can see the pen marks are still pretty, sorry my camera doesn't want to focus, the pen marks are still kind of visible, you can see the heat from when I was shaping it that's still visible. We're going to keep coating it with Plasti Dip until that's no longer visible. Um, if anybody was wondering how I do my rivets, that's a secret that I'll go ahead and reveal to you guys today. Um, I feel it's time that I start sharing what I've learned over the years since people have been so kind to share their knowledge on the internet and help get me started. I'd like to contribute to that. Uh, here's one of the detailed pieces for my sash. It's got uh, the writing from Skyrim on it. I'm sorry, you can't really see it. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus on it. It's not going to focus. I don't know why it does that. But I'll take some good pictures of that later. And I will be right back. I'm going to show you how I do my rivets. Okay, so believe it or not, that right there, this, these are what my rivets are made out of. I have various size Google eyes. Uh, they're all perfectly symmetrical. They're all the exact same size. Uh, well, obviously they vary in size, but when you get the same size, they're all very identical. So I use those, and I use this glue. It's called uh, Bob Smith Industries Instacure. I love this stuff. Um, there's varying thicknesses. I use two. This one's called the gap filling. It's in the purple bottle. And the thin kind, uh, it's in a blue bottle, I believe. So it's got a blue cap and a blue label. Uh, it sets really fast, so you'll want to make sure that you're gluing where you want it to glue. It heats up while it's curing, and it will stick your fingers to all kinds of shit, so make sure you're careful. Oh, and it heats up. I'm not sure if I said that already. So if it, you have temperature sensitive things, it will melt it. So I take the Google Eyes, my BSI glue, and I glue it on there. It gives me a perfect little rivet and it jingles. But uh, you can see I've still got some coating to do on that. You can still see a bit of the Google Eye. But once I'm done, you won't see that and I will be able to paint it. Um, as far as the silver painting, this is what I use. I don't spray it directly on. I'll show you how I do that later. But uh, it's rust oleum metallic. It gives you a very nice, shiny sheen to it. Uh, but before I do that, I actually, like I said earlier, I go through and cover it with Plasti Dip, which is this. The black spray on Plasti Dip. Once that's fully set, I've done, I usually do anywhere from three to seven layers, depending on how big the piece and how much the foam is absorbing it. And then once I'm finished with that, I go in with this. It's Rust-Oleum uh, Metallic Paint and Primer All-in-One. This one's uh, Oil Rubbed Bronze. It actually kind of comes out like this really nice coppery black color. I like it. Uh, I do anywhere from two to three coats. Sometimes it's usually just two. This gives me a nice base to paint my silver on, and it has a very slight metallic sheen to it, only just, just a little bit. It's kind of like buffed bronze, but not as shiny as buffed. Does that make sense? Probably not. But I believe that these are dry enough that I can do another, yeah, I can do another spritz on there, and I will be right back.
clogged them. There we go, and we'll just let it dry. Okay guys, so next I'm going to show you how I paint them silver. These are all ready. Uh, I'll probably start off with these or, uh, you know, actually let's start off with the small. Yeah, these should be good and ready. So, um, you can see that it's all black and ready to go. So what I do is you take your spray paint and a cloth that you don't mind getting paint all over it, it will be ruined, so make sure it's something that you don't want to have to try to wash and salvage later. It's going to have to go in the trash when you're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these out of the way just in case I get a cross breeze and I don't want to get paint on those. So what you do is you take your fabric and you're going to bundle it over your fingers like this. And I'm just going to spray uh, two or three times here. And then what I do once I do that, I dab it off a little bit. And I will cross swipe really quickly across this. Um, that way you only get a little bit on there and it's not going to be copiously coated and you get that nice sheen that you want. I'll just do a quick demonstration before I turn the camera off. And be prepared to get paint all over yourself. It's unavoidable. Just getting a little bit on there. It's gonna be your black undertone, just still gonna be visible, which is what you want, especially for recesses. You want to make sure that you really get like areas that are raised, because if you think about it, in real life, armor, with it being raised, it's more likely to graze things and buff it and polish it naturally. So you want them to be brighter than anything that's been recessed. And you also want to get your edges really good because that'll also be buffed by grazing various surfaces. And there you go. See how it's not fully coated, but you still get the nice black undertones. We're going to let this dry and then I will seal it with clear Plasti Dip. I usually let it set for a few hours before I do that, just to give it all a chance to evaporate. And as you can see, I got paint on me. By the time that I'm done, my thumb will be completely silver.